So please welcome, firstly to the blue corner, all the way from Florida in the United States of America, Asa Ten Po! Well, the young man whose CV reads like a novel. A true mixed martial artist in every sense of the word. Trained in jiu-jitsu, kung fu, K1, MMA, boxing, where he won the Florida Golden Gloves in 2013, and kickboxing, which he won the Southeastern US Kickboxing Championships a year later. He's 41 and 10 in amateur contests. And, well, Dave Benson, you just wonder when somebody is trained in as many different disciplines as this man, it can't be too long before he makes a full transition over to mixed martial arts. Yeah, that is the general route once they've got a, a few different styles behind them, but you need a mixed ground game and stand-up. What will be interesting in this fight is to see how those other styles influence his, start, his overall fighting style. Colton Liu is a very, very talented fighter. Asate! So it's going to take a special someone to beat him. But this guy is good. He's trained hard. He's come all the way from the States. He means business. extremely popular young man here in London. He made a, a very, very welcome return in the O2 back in June. The death of his auntie marring the preparations for his training camp last time around. And victory was dedicated solely and entirely to her. So Count Liu really has had a difficult, difficult year. But he'll feel at home here tonight, and he's, as always, smiling, looking in good spirits, cool, calm, and confident as ever. Terrific unanimous decision victory it was over Benito Thomas at the last Muay Thai Grand Prix. Put him down with a sickening left hook. A real firepower in the hands. Watch out for it. Here he is. And Team Chu in the red corner, Carlton Liu. And ladies and gentlemen, this Mai Tai Grand Prix full tie rules bound to take place in the minor 64 kilogram division over five. Three minute rounds, ladies and gentlemen, this is a lion fight. World title eliminator. And so introducing to you firstly, fighting out of the blue corner. He's representing Florida Kickboxing Academy in the USA. It's Asa Ten the ring fighting out of the red corner he's representing team two team in central london england it's Colton the baby faced assassin
so as you heard, huge amount at stake here for Carlton Liu in the red corner. Asa Ten Pau, the Florida Kickboxing Academy in the USA. A lion fight, world title is at stake at 64 kilos. So this one, full tie rules, five three-minute rounds. And what an opportunity ahead for both of these young men. As you said, this is the uh, one of the eliminator fights for the Lion Fight World title. The main event of Muay Thai Grand Prix 6. Asa Ten Pao versus Carlton Liu. Twitchy start, neither man wanting to commit too early. You looking to land that rear leg kick and goes high, and a nod of acknowledgement from Asa Ten Pao. So, so far, Asa Ten Pao looks like a very traditional Muay Thai style, but as we've ascertained, he's trained in a lot of different styles, so it'll be interesting to see how that influences this fight tonight. Florida Golden Gloves champion in boxing as well, so good hands. The teeps worked well so far, just pushed Lee back on a couple of occasions. You looking to find the straight left. Ten power again, just teeping with the rear leg. Liu operating out of that south core stance, meaning that the right will land a little bit easier if it's straight. The knees exchange too. Carl Liu just trying to muscle his man over, but neither man going down. As Asa Ten Pao just starts firing elbows in round one. Long, long way to go yet. Yeah, neither of these two men really want to get involved in anything too dramatic in the early stages because this could go right the way down the stretch but it is difficult I imagine Dave Benson when there is so much at stake to remain emotionally unattached true Ten Pao just missing with the uppercut Liu jabbing moving off to his left hand side and kicks low again a solid teep from yeah. Ten Pao. That push, push kick, uh, really effective from uh, Asa Ten Pao. Just lost his footing there. Yeah, a little slip in the corner. Referee telling him just to wipe that up. So ten seconds to go in round number one. A pretty eventful start. As we said, Golden Gloves champion. He's going to have strong hands. Good opening boat. Opening round. It's a nice high kick to start there from Carlton Liu, and it was acknowledged by. Ten pal. As we saw, one of the money shots for the man in blue was front push kick. Just knocked Lee back onto his heels on four or five occasions. There it is again. So pretty competitive. Good spells for both. Nice little turn there from uh, the American. And just signs that this one really could heat up very, very nicely over the next two or three rounds. The way he sets himself for his punches there, you can see he's a, he's a, a, a well-versed boxer. Back to the action now, into round two of the scheduled five. Full Muay Thai rules. Yeah, you can see the accuracy on his punches there. Just leading with the elbow there. Yeah, that little left uppercut elbow, as we saw in one of the earlier fights, very effective technique. It's 
10 power, just shaking his head in, in a little bit of frustration there. Yeah, that's the danger. Cotton Lou tends to do that to his opponents. Better from 10 power there, Leb with the elbow. And now Lou just blocking, turning him back onto the ropes. Yeah, nicely locking his man up there. So it's just to pause the action and force the referee to break. Again, that push kick. As Carlton's gone into the orthodox stance. Body kick there again from Lou. When it landed, Tempow just took a deep breath in, walked forward again. So just a very slight sign that that one got through and hurt him a little bit. But he's a pretty menacing stalker, very calm, very methodical. But even when something like that lands solidly, he doesn't seem to break stride, just comes forwards. There you um, go, there's something unorthodox. Imagine a little bit disconcerting for Carlton Liu. Spinning back elbow there. Oh, one straight back. They both blocked each other. Liu's was slightly a little more central. Some of it may have got through the guard, but uh, well, they're both here to fight. They know what's at stake. 10 power again, stalking in, looking for the gap, right hand over the top. Ooh, spin an elbow there, attempted as Colton ducks in with that left lead uppercut elbow. The difficulty Lou is having, he's not really able to move 10 power back with any of these shots. He's landed clean, he's landed crisp, it sounds good, it looks good, but Really, Ten Pout has had one gear so far, and that's been forwards. That's it. He just hunts his man down, doesn't he? He moves forward, doesn't take a step back at all, and that's going to tire Carlton out. Looks very calm and collected in the corner there. He's not even breathing heavy. Something tells me he's saving himself for these later rounds. See the, the two exchanging elbows there. And again, the pattern of the fight so far, Lou has been on the back foot, trying to maintain that distance, but keeps being pushed back. The 10 power looking, he's in control. If we're looking at who's dictating the pace, you'd have to say so far it's the man in the blue corner. But this is the round where it all starts to count. Can Carlton Liu change the pattern of the contest? Can he start to push his man back? Can he put some pressure on him? I've got a feeling the American's going to switch it up a gear in this round. I feel, can't help but feel like he's been holding back. That was better from Carlton Liu. Moved his man visibly backwards. Yeah, the power level's gone up from both these guys now. As we enter the business stage of the fight. A few feints to the hands and Liu, body kick, that was better. Yeah, lovely left kick there from Colton. He's just blocking those kicks to the rear leg as well. It's good timing from Liu, he's seeing these shots coming now. Perhaps just gathered that data in those first couple of rounds and is now making the adjustments. Catches that rear leg again. Blocks and kicks. This is good from uh, Carlton. He's sharpened up in this round. Ooh, Ooh, back, goodness, spinning back mate. kick again. And a sweeping right hand just misses. Really unorthodox style and highly technical from the man in blue. A couple of kicks crash into the body as well. As the left hook lands from Carlton. Trying to feint his man backwards, but every time he gets kick for kick, he lands and Ten Pau comes straight back at him. As the American forces the clinch. 
It's Lou, who was the busier once they'd locked up. Kicks double, kicks. Kicks. double kicks there, but Walcott's on one leg like that. It strikes me that the Americans looking for the punch. And Liu, just a wry <laughs> smile of acknowledgement there, but I think really he hasn't had time Ooh. to stop and stare as that knee landed ahead of Liu. Any damage? Hard to see so far. It doesn't look like it. Ten power is starting to creep up through the gears. Yeah, he's starting to pick the pace up. And Liu's got to respond to this. Oof. Well, he moved out of the way of the first one. The second one clipped him, and they touch gloves. Liu comes back with the hands. Ten power just looks at times as if he's got all the time in the world. Yeah, again, as another left body kick goes crashing in. Cohen lands his, but just comes straight off his feet because of the strength of this American pushing forwards. Really, really strong. Just unmovable at times. I'll be turning back kick there, just lands to the midsection of Liu, and then he goes into the clinch. A couple of knees and an elbow. Yeah, nice elbow landing there from uh, Carlton. As uh, the American goes to take the back, solid round again. This was really shaping up for something. It's top quality stuff, this from both guys as well. And well, you'd have to say whoever does take it is worthy of a world title shot. It's all about who makes the adjustments over the next six minutes. It's going to be absolutely crucial. The 10 power here, you see the pattern again. He's stalking, but it's economical. Cuts off the ring well. Picks his shots, doesn't waste too much energy, counters again. That was great work, he's landed a left body kick, evaded both the punches that come back and then landed another solid left body kick. Really good work there from the American. Elbows coming in there from the, the man in blue, but nothing landing with the point of the elbow, just forearms at the moment. Not a problem. That knee came right up very close to the chin if it didn't hit. Oh, he's just using his movement now. Well, he's in against a pretty special opponent thus far, and he knows he's going to have to really up the level. I think he's got a bit of blood coming from his nose, so maybe that knee landed, but. The Americans coming hard with these elbows. I feel the Cohen needs to move and land, land single shots and then keep moving. Yeah, there's a lot of blood coming from Colton's nose now. I think that might have been the knee in the last round. It's going to affect his breathing, make it a bit more difficult. Lovely, well-timed teep there from the man in red. just taking to the outside, just giving himself a little bit of time, space to try and work. Ooh. This 10 pound just misses and actually clips our monitor here at ringside. But he's made a tough stuff, goes in. Throwing in an axe kick there again. Few unorthodox thing from his kickboxing background. Tries to sweep the back leg, doesn't do so. Liu does well to stay on his feet. And the crowd now chanting, Carlton, Carlton. He's going to need the support because he's in a real fight here. And this sort of mixed martial artist background and the number of skills that Ten Power has mastered during his combat career starting to show here. Unusual techniques and he's having success with them as well. Comes in with that elbow. Now in the clinch, and Liu delivering two or three good knees. Not easy. Bit 
big shots being exchanged by these gents now. Well, I'm just glimpsing up at the screen, see how long he's got left of this round. Real power and spike now being delivered by Asa Tenpal with these body kicks, spinning elbow two. And just bossing Carlton Liu backwards. Last few seconds of this round. And although he hasn't stopped walking forward, it's not really been out of any sort of ego or machoism, it's just been considered methodical breakdown. Carlton Liu been under constant pressure, it's been good power. He doesn't particularly look the bigger or stronger man in there, but he just is. He's just been able to impose his will on Liu and make him box at his pace. You can see there a couple of occasions where he's been caught by that nice counter from Carlton Liu, but by and large, Asa Ten Powers been able to manoeuvre the man in red wherever he's wanted him. Spin and elbow just closely missing there. Here we go for the fifth and final round. And this could really well be the round of Carlton Hughes career world title shot at stake what can he do to deter this incredibly strong Asa Ten Power who has just marched forwards for the last four and a half rounds you now turn right, him in the clinch that was great there. work and a little smile of acknowledgement from Asa Ten Power he knew <laughs> that was good work and two just touch gloves great bit of sportsmanship Wow, really? with the hook there, misses that by a long, long way. Cotton caught him with a push kick at the, at the exactly the time he threw the hook. Really well timed, Teep. Good solid kick in there from the American, though. Can't help but feel the Americans looking to set the hands up here. There you go, nice stick right, right hand, hand the there. Top, landing. And another one there, Liu having to tuck up tight. Teeps the and then throw, getting behind their man. Crashes the left hook into the Ooh. body. Nice left hook over the top there. And just set Ten Pao back onto his heels momentarily. And the knee to the body, not of acknowledgement, but still the American comes forwards. Low kick to the lead leg of Carlton Liu. <laughs> wow. <laughs> as uh, the American almost joins us in the commentary spot there. That's about as close as it gets. A <laughs> uh, life flashed before my eyes there. It wasn't much to see. <laughs> 58 seconds to go in the final round. My blood is still trickling from the nose of Liu. He's on the back foot still. Yeah, you can see him sniffing and trying to clear his nose. It's going to affect your breathing, tire you a bit more. You can see the American still light on his toes, dancing around. But Carlton hitting and moving nicely. Liu just fainting while he raises his hand, but my goodness, he's going to have to make sure he works for the remainder of this round because this is close from where we are. Yes, lovely little turn. Doesn't quite take the American down. <laughs> Full mode. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong sport. Four Last comes. 10 seconds in this fifth and final round. Four <laughs> comes 10 pow again. Colton just staying on there. Colton's nose looks like it might actually. Well, 10 pow be... looks at Liu as if to say, You think you won? I think I took it. Liu raises his hand. 
looks at the corner and says, what do you reckon? Huge, huge amount of stake for both of these two men. And we'll go to the scorecards. Would you want to have to call this one, Dave? I'll leave this to the judges. I thought you'd sit on the fence. As you see, the great show of sportsmanship between these two. Both players paying their respects to the respective corners. As we just watched that final replay. And go over to uh, Peter Lowe with the judges' decision. Ladies and gentlemen, can we get a massive round of applause for both of these men after an excellent line fight title eliminator here in London, England. And ladies and gentlemen, after five superb rounds of action, your ringside judges have reached a unanimous decision in favour of your winner fighting out of the red corner. It's come! First of all, ladies and gentlemen, special guest tonight, Drago. Well, what did you think of this man's performance tonight? Uh, it was a very, very great fight, very nice fight. Uh, a lot of techniques, you know, uh, hard, hard fight. And uh, yeah, he deserved, he deserved uh, the, the, the win, you know, very nice fight. Well, seal of approval from a very, very top kickboxer here. Colton, rumor has it you're going to America. Fight for the Lion Fight title! You looking forward to that one, my friend? Yeah, it's going to be great traveling, traveling across the world to fight for titles. It's a world class position, so it will be a great opportunity. Thank you for the Lion Fight to Ken. Obviously, Foxy here, Phil Simon, and uh, Kim for the opportunity. And obviously, we wouldn't be, uh, wouldn't be able to tackle the Lion Fight coming as well. Tell you what, your concentration was absolutely spot on. This guy is a warrior brand fighter. He never took his foot off the accelerator, but on the back foot, those kicks were something else, mate. I'm telling you, I thought I had angles. That guy was coming at me, spinning, jumping, twisting, turning, rolling. I was hard, but yeah, things are tough to be smart, just concentrating on the win. That's exactly what happened. We stuck to the back. I listened to my team. That's what we do day in, day out. Nice to fight. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, it's going to America, Colin Leo! Well, a fantastic moment for Carlton Yu. He will be going stateside for a world title shot and we wish him the very, very best after a difficult year. One more thing, ladies and gentlemen. 